Hello and welcome to Panels and Course Blocks. In this lesson, we're going to identify the different panels and the course blocks within those panels and how to add and move them and remove them from your course. So what is a panel and what is a course block? There are three panels in the learning management system in Moodle. There's one on the left side, one on the right side, and one in the middle. So we have panels, three panels, one, two, three. In this middle panel, this is where your course content is going to be, and it is going to be broken down into weeks or units or modules or however you want to do that. And in another lesson, we'll learn how to set that up. In this particular format, I have it set as units, three units. One, two, three. So what are blocks? Blocks then are here in this panel and in this panel, left and right. Calendar is a block. People is a block. Administration is a block. On the right side, courses available to you, messages, GMC Online Library, GMC Current News Feed, all of these are blocks and you can add them and you can delete them and you can move them from side to side. How do you do that? Well, you turn editing on and when you turn editing on, click, you see now you have the editing tools. Some of these blocks have editing tools, some of them do not. That's because these without the editing tools are called sticky blocks and you can put them in there so that they cannot be deleted or moved. But these that do have latest news, my links, activity search forms, these blocks can be edited. And to do that, you would click the X to delete it. And now it's gone. But if you want to bring it back, you come over here to the right hand side under blocks, add activities. And now it comes back and it is on the right hand side. If you wanted to move it to the left hand side, here's the trick. When we did the customization here, we turned the blocks black. But if you hover right next to the X, there's a black arrow that says move left and one that says move up and there should be one around here somewhere that says move down but oh, it won't, you can't move it down because you can't go farther than blocks if we moved it up it goes up one now it's above my links and now you see move left move up and there's move down click move down if you wanted to move it to the left, move to the left. Now it's on the left hand side. If you wanted to move it to the right, move up, move right, and there it is on the right hand side. There are other blocks that you can add too. So you just go and explore here with blocks. Ajax marketing, announcements, attendance. This is not attendance for the whole class. This would be attendance for an activity that you would add that attendance is part of the grading and if I were to click on that see it says here this block can only work with an attendance activity so you have to add the activity in order to do the attendance so since we don't have one of those we'll go ahead and we'll delete it other ones that are up here class list you can then it shows everybody who's enrolled in the class collect course complete all these here face-to-face -face reports you would go through them all, see what they do, and add the ones that you feel would be a benefit to your course. That's blocks. Now, we have the blocks. There are some other things that we can do here. You see there's this little icon here, Assign Roles. So you click on Assign Roles, and that brings us up to the different roles, the description, and the users. So you can assign the role of teacher clicking on that and then finding someone and adding that person is add Tambra. Tambra Moser is now added 
and we go back and we can see one user Tamara Moser is assigned as a teacher for that particular click here to enter your course Oh, that took me all the way back, didn't it? So let's go back. This is good. I'm glad this happened because sometimes when you click on links, it will take you. This took me to the, the main page, and so I need to go back into Development and LMS 101 Learning Management System Basics, and now I'm back to my course. Otherwise, you can use these breadcrumbs as well to go back and forth. So these are the different blocks to add them and to assign the roles this little eyeball here is hide. If you were to hide this activities down here, see it's hidden. You can't see it. And then if you go back up here and switch a role to student, student can't see it at all. That's what that little hide. Return to my normal role. Turn editing back on. I can still see activities. So now let's take a look at some of the blocks that are already up in my particular course. Over here I have my calendar and I can go forward and backwards on my calendar and I can add events right now. I've got things that are on my calendar that I've already put there. And to put things on my calendar I come down here to upcoming events and I click on new event either user event that would mean something that only I would be able to see course event which is something that everybody who's enrolled in the course can see and site event means for the entire site but then we're going to go ahead and put a course event and I'll just type in here uh, a generic event and in the description have fun and the date for that, I can select a date of, let's see, the 1st of June. And without duration, no repeat, save the changes. Now, cannot set event before the course start date. Ah, uh, my course start date must be later. So, but this is how you do it. You put the course, <laughs> the date in there. And then you save the changes, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use my breadcrumbs to go back to my course, but you can see that I've already put some in here. Another thing is people, participants. You can list all the people who is a participant in this particular course. And here are the ones. And as you have students and you would put them in, this is where you would see them. Administration will come back to this one. Search forums, this is one that if you have discussion forum, you'd be able to put in a text here to search the forums. Upcoming events we just saw. Online users, this is who are, is in there right now. Oh, look, I've got two search forums. I can go ahead and close this one. Delete it. Bye-bye. Up here on the right-hand side, courses available to you. These are all the courses that you are enrolled in or a teacher. And this follows you, depending on which course you're in, you're going to see the same ones. Messages, same thing. If somebody sent you a message within Moodle, that will show up here. GMC Online Library is here. Current news feeds, you can add and edit RSS feeds if you know how. If you don't, somebody can show you. You can go online and find out about those as well. Latest news, you can add a new topic. Subject. Happy birthday, Mike. And then you can just put down here, it's Mike's birthday. When you put that in there, everyone is subscribed to this forum. You can do an attachment if you want. And you just post it. And you have 30 minutes to edit. And now you see... Here we have it. Happy birthday, Mike. My links, you can add whatever links that would you would like. Manage my links. If there's some links that you would like to put on here, maybe just plain old Google or something. You just copy it, bring it over here, and new link. There's the URL. Google. 
and don't really need a description for that. Everybody knows what Google is. Upload the link, and now here it is. You go back to there, and now I've got Google. I click on that, and it'll take me automatically to Google in a new window. That's how you add links. Activities, if you have any, there is happens to be a book in this course. It's up here, the course syllabus. Forums, if you have a forum, resources. Click on there and you see all the resources for this particular course. And then finally over here in administration, you can turn editing on and off in administration. You can create new settings, new names. This is where you would go in to change the format if you wanted weekly or topics. Number of weeks, start dates. Aha, that's why I couldn't put that on my calendar because the course start date is until August 8th. And you scroll down and you can see all these interesting things and you can save the changes. But I'm not going to because I didn't change anything. Just cancel. Assigning roles, it takes you to this again. You can see who is in your course and what role they have. Grades we're going to look at later. Outcomes, if you have any outcomes that you wanted to add. Oh, went to the grade report. Go back here. Yeah, groups, if you wanted to add members of your class to specific groups. You can do that. Create groups and edit groups. Backup, restore, import, and reset. These are all administrative tools for your particular course. Reports is a good one because you'd be able to look at logs, who's been in the course and who's doing what. You could do it by activity looking at activity reports, who's done what and when. So there's different reports. Questions, if you have a quiz, you would have your questions if you imported a quiz. Files, these are all the files associated with this particular course. You can unenroll yourself from LMS 101, and here's your profile. This one's very important, profile. So this is where you would put your profile. You edit it, and you have your username, and if you wanted to change your password, your first and last name, these one with, in the red, these are all required. In this box, this is where you would type in information about you. If you wanted to add a picture, this is where you would go. You browse for it, put a description in, your list of in interests, and then you update your profile, and this is what the students will be able to see. You can also look at forum posts. If you have a blog, if you wanted to add notes, there's the activity reports for just me and what roles. I'm assigned to. So that's course blocks and panels. Just to sum up, we have three panels, left, center, and right. The center panel is where you have your course content. It can be by topic or by week, by going into settings. You can add and delete and move blocks by going into the edit mode, turning editing on and using the invisible arrows. The ones without the editing tools are sticky blocks, meaning that you cannot uh, move them or edit them. And all of these things here in administration are tools for you that you can use to create and manage your course.